Um, welcome to Drifters. <laughs> I'm totally not here. Um, <laughs> hi, my name is Karu, and this is Drifters, and this is probably the last session of this um, arc. And I have these players with me today. Hi, I'm Zio. I play Savor, our Zabrak pilot, weapons specialist, and professional coward. Hello, I'm Sho. I play Rasan, our Togruten slicer and former neat. I'm Gaz. I play Dodgy, a formerly pit droid, now Imperial assassin robot, Jedi Knight, body hopping crystal thing. A clusterfuck. Yeah, basically. Uh huh. Earl, would you stop eating off my plate? No. Don't. And there's Earl, our, our stream mascot. Yeah, our mascot. Um, okay, so last session. You guys did some pretty heroic stuff. Blew up the Eye of Palpatine. Boom. And got the fuck out of there. Somehow. Survived, mm. yes. All of you. Shockingly. You couldn't sound happier about that. Seriously. <laughs> I um, think she expected Tess to die, at least. I did. I kind of did. Mm-hmm. We all did. I'm glad that she didn't. <laughs> but we are heading to Boss Pity now, where the rest of our team is also going after they all escaped into hyperspace. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's what Karu was trying to say, but she failed miserably. Because she was mm. eating. <sighs> Pizza tastes best when it's hot. Um, yeah, so it takes you guys a bit. And you guys are probably running really low on fuel by now. But yes. you get but you have um arrived on Ball's Pity. How did we survive? Luck. I, I'm not complaining. It was the just... will of the force. So anyways, how did we actually survive? <laughs> That's not an answer either. Yeah. Well, Tess, you should go talk to your kind of sort of following at this point and congratulate them on a job well done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> All right. So you land as the, um, what is it called when the thing opens the, the clap? You. Hanger? Whatever. Eh. Um, you see, the first thing you see, um, Tess, as you descend the plank platform? Ramp. 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 Is, um, uh, halfway dressed, um, Gabby rushing towards you? What? Huh? Eh. Blink. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> she said uh huh when you were still speaking, so I'm assuming the first. Uh huh. Yeah, she's happy. Everyone goes aww in the distance. <sighs> something something attachments are forbidden. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that here, Dodgy. <laughs> she starts babbling about the, the, the I thought you were gonna die. I didn't think you'd come back. I was so worried and I wasn't there to help. And I'm so sorry I was not there and Yeah. 
Yep. Okay. I I'm going to press a macro on my data pad and make the applause <laughs> play through the ship speakers because, yeah. Really, Rasan? Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> Stop messing with the ship's computers in this way, please. And Sabor's going to get off the ship because she just, oh god, this was a mess. It was. <sighs> <coughs> oh, please don't die. Please <clears throat> don't. That would be pretty dramatic. Please no, don't. It might get us numbers. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Karu, no. Yep. You're forbidden yeah. to well, die, period. You're forbidden to die in general? Yeah, yes, thanks. <laughs> um, how injured were you guys after the battle? Uh, Quite, but well, Dodgy yeah. healed very. us. Uh-huh, Dodgy. Yeah, <laughs> Dodgy, Dodgy was very is. injured. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, Dodgy healed us, so that probably helped, but I mean, we still got our asses handed to us almost. Yeah. Well, you guys weren't the only ones, and those that did survive um, are starting to land. Mm -hmm. You guys lost a couple ships. Yeah. But to be fair, you guys did a lot better than you could have. Oh, yeah. And everyone starts gathering in the hangar. Probably admiring the kissing going on between the two girls there. There are wolf whistles, I'm sure. Oh, oh yes. yes. Um, Savor is start going to start walking around and looking at the other ships to see how much damage they took. There's probably also one male who's like <laughs> watching, but kind of inching closer and. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Do not want to interrupt, but... Is he one we threatened to kill previously? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that probably gets a laugh out of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And makes Dash go completely bright red. Yeah, I take pictures of that. <laughs> Because now he's the center of attention as well. Uh -huh. And that's not exactly what he was planning. <laughs> Too bad. What did he expect when he started dating Tess? Seriously. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of how it goes. <clears throat> I'm not done eating pizza at Cat. Get out of my plate. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. At. Um, so, yeah, you have a bunch of people now staring at you, Tess. Tonight we drink. Lots of cheers. And some people being dragged off to, you know, the med room. Yep. <sighs> so how bad do these ships look as they come in? Also, do the ships we actually know by name all show up? Yes. Okay. Um, I believe you lost two starfighters, and quite a few of the ships will need repairs. Oh yeah, repairs can be done. Mm -hmm. To be fair, it could have gone a lot worse. 
Yes, it oh, could. God, yeah. <clears throat> Pardon me. And the people that you recruited by name are all fine? Good. Okay, good. Um, I think Dodgy and Rito need repairs as well. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And your ship also needs repairs. There were some hasty repairs on the door so that you guys could actually get the fuck out of there. Because <laughs> remember, you got broken into. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's going to need some repairs. Some but for the most part, once they got inside, time. they were shooting at uh, Rito and not the ship itself. So that's why Rito needs repairs. <laughs> yeah. Poor Rito. Yes. <laughs> So we're just basically taking a mental note of like what needs to be repaired first and what looks like it's going to cost the most to repair. Yeah. Oh, and she does point out dodgy to people saying don't shoot him. Yes, he's um, an Imperial droid, but he is with us. Do not fucking shoot him. <laughs> <sighs> It helps that he came out of your ship and, um... Yeah, I'm just making sure because if someone didn't see him come off of our ship... What does Rasan end up doing while... Um, he is surprisingly quiet right now. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Why now? You never eh. deal with this when we want him to be quiet. Exactly. But now he doesn't really want people to find him. Because, you know. Oh. Actually, so you actually... get a couple of encrypted messages. Uh-oh. Yeah, so he's probably kind of hold... Dang it! He's probably back on the ship. <laughs> One is from Voss going, congratulations on not getting killed. Voss? You mean Vogue? Vogue, yes, Vogue. Who's Voss? I don't know. And the other one? And the other one is from your uncle. Okay, if you had said yeah, I would have been like... Rrr! Yeah, anyway. Okay, <laughs> so he's going to spend some time with those while everybody else is celebrating. Kind of letting you know that um, already the Imperials are covering this up and making it into um, a terrorist attack by a rogue princess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're trying to do damage control. Yes. Darn. Okay, well, I know what I'm going to be doing the next week. I'm going to be doing the other side and seeing what stuff we actually managed to uh, get a hold of in terms of video. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thanks for reminding me, Zoo. Leela is not as um, obvious as Tess. Tess and her girlfriend. <laughs> and uh, waits until no one's watching to go and totally make out with you. <laughs> At least she has some amount of Tech. decency. <laughs> the others are teenagers. Let them be. <sighs> Yeah. yeah, so I was very glad to see Leela, because holy shit, she thought she was, they were all going to die. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Leela also thought you were going to die because you were on that fucking thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry we were out of contact for so long. Yeah, that wasn't worrying at all. Hey, we were fighting two Inquisitors and a witch. What do you expect? I was expecting the worst. <laughs> That's the problem. Eh, yeah, fair enough. You know, I kind of preferred it when you just laid low and didn't do crazy stuff like this. Yeah. Yeah, so did I. But, I mean, this is just a different type of crazy. I mean, you know who I worked with nine times out of ten, so. Point taken. Yeah. Yeah. You know he's still going to be looking for you. Oh, I am well aware I have a target on my head. He'll kill me if he sees me. <laughs> that That's nothing new. Well, I think a lot of you need to lay low for a while. 
I'm really hoping Tess understands that because I do. I really want to lay low for a while. Also, there is so much stuff that needs to be repaired. Yeah. Yep. We've got our work cut out for us here. This is going <laughs> to cost so much to repair and take a long time. We might need to expand our base here as well. Yeah, if we're going to do that, we need to actually figure out how to make sure no one notices it's being expanded, because, I mean... Subterranean expansion. Got it. Yeah. Either God, that that's going to cost go even more. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or we go looking for um, other abandoned spots that we can transform into subterranean bases. I mean, this place used to be a giant planet. I'm sure we can find maybe old housing that would work. That has a giant basement, but works for like two levels for us at least. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll have to find stuff, but I'm sure Tess would love going out adventuring on a On planet. this planet, I'm fine <laughs> with her adventuring. <laughs> It'll at least keep her busy. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully someone else can help convince her because she never listens to a word I say. <laughs> no one in the ship does, ever. Nah, I'm sure they listen to you. They just choose to ignore you. Sure enough. I'm hoping at some point, at least, their mind has my voice in their head saying, this is stupid, maybe don't do this. Maybe. I doubt it, but you never know. For now, I really need a drink. Let's go get drinks. Agreed. <sighs> I'm guessing someone... Well, you guys were around here before with Dodgy. So mm -hmm. Dodgy knows the lay of the area. Yep. What is Dodgy up to? Besides um... getting repaired. I think he's, like, kind of just checking over all the, like, heretofore unnamed pilots. Like, yeah, there are some that people immediately checked on, but he's kind of looking for the loners, if there are any. Like, the people who didn't have close friends or whose close friends didn't make it back mm -hmm. and kind of just trying to comfort them. You'll probably end up talking to Lucia, too, in that case. Probably, yeah. Not that Fury has joined us, but... <laughs> she was a loner... ex stormtrooper yeah. A lot of them are ex-stormtroopers. So Tess has a thing about... gathering defectors to her. Yep. Well, luckily, everyone seems in pretty good spirits. And, uh, well, initially, they're kind of, eh, about dodgy in his new body. Dodgy is, uh, pretty well-versed in being the kind, uh, Jedi. I'm pretty sure that once he gets repaired, that part of his repairs are also changing the color scheme. So he's not just an Imperial droid running around? Yeah. Yeah, easy enough. Girl. Okay. I mean, this used to be a droid um, base. Mm -hmm. So you guys have a shit ton of droid parts and probably oh, yes. the ability to give you guys uh, give you a paint job. You're probably the same, like, off-yellow cream... Of the B ones, <laughs> it's an ugly so color. Probably but they work. A big job. I mean, they had two options: that or like the dark gray of the B twos. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> we could always just order some. Yeah, you guys probably have some leftover red and orange. Hey, do you want to be red and gold? We can do the. Oh wait, but then Rita would. 
get upset. But we're gonna have to paint repaint the ship anyway, so you you could give him like some like uh markings or something. <laughs> Just like details in like red instead of uh but yes. Um so yeah, you guys have uh time off on Boss Pity. I don't know if anyone has anything else they wanna cover. Um, not really right now, though, once, at least maybe the next day, Spore would be like, guys, at what point do you think we could maybe go to Rusan for a while? I have to ask Plet some things. Oh, okay, sorry. Mm-hmm. That's why they're there drinking. Because of the... Mm -hmm. Oh. Where do you? Why do you ask this when I actually just took a bite of food? God damn it! Cause timing. Um, Sephora is gonna ask if the others want to go to Rusan at some point because she needs to talk to Plet. And Dodgy could totally be introduced to Platt. Oh man. That will go great. Earl. We might want to uh By the way, the Dodgy. Uh Platt is a Jedi master, we know. I thought you said they were all dead. They're supposed to be. They are all dead. Remember, they uh, are all dead. Oh. Of <laughs> course. Yes. Yeah, especially here, they're all dead. But I do want to go to Rostov and speak to him at some point. I would also like to speak to him. Though, presumably, for different reasons. I think different reasons, yes. We would probably do well to give you your paint job before we went. Oh, Cause... yes, absolutely. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, we might even want to just put you in a different body to lay low. Well, I mean, honestly, if we wanted to... Like, how tall is Hikaru? Is he human tall? Yes. Okay. You could just throw a cloak over him. True. I mean, like, honestly, the thing is that Rusan, we're going into the desert area. He's not going to see anyone yeah. except people we trust. Yeah, but to get there, we'd either have to... Hmm. It's not yes. like we have to get off the ship. Besides, this is basically our excuse to fully refill our ship as well. Yeah, that was the thing. If we're going to be refilling our ship, we'd have to go to the spaceport. And if you get off at the spaceport, then we'd have to be more careful. Just, you know. Well, I mean, we also wouldn't take the Phoenix, because if the Phoenix gets spotted right now, oh, it's going to be shot over this guy. It, yeah, that is definitely way too hot. Of a ship. <laughs> Which reminds me, in the future, we're definitely going to have to get another ship. At some point. Yep, we'll just have to mark it down. We'll figure that shit out later. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the fire spray is literally a generic fire spray, so we can take that no issue. Yep. 
But yeah, what about you, Tess? Do you want to come with us? Whoa, Tess, are you feeling all right? Your voice is your throat sore. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine, dude. So, I mean, I don't know how long we'd stay on Boss Pity before we go, but we can Probably head out with the at least strike. another day or two. Oh, yeah. This is mostly uh, when you guys are ready, I do want to go to Rusan and speak to Plaid. Yeah, that's fine. I might want to drop by my uncles for a bit. Do you, do you think uh, the other two totally not Jedi that we know want to come with us? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think um, Gabby wants to get too far from Tess right now. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, has... I think Kaz is going to stay. Help fix shit? Yeah. There's okay. a lot of fixing to be done, and he really likes getting into the mechanical part. <laughs> okay, and, awesome. You know, keep someone behind to look after everyone who's mm -hmm. actually Force-sensitive. True sure enough. So yeah, after we stay in boss pity for a couple days and start making sure everything is going well with repairs and shit we'll head over to Rasan. Yep. In the fire spray. Yes. In the fire spray. Because no way are we going. No. <laughs> We'd be shot out of the sky. Uh huh. How'd you know? I don't know because we just pissed off uh Everybody in the empire again. Yeah. Worse, you pissed off the emperor. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll put that on the list. <laughs> uh, I mean, if we just, go to the outer rim, we probably could find somebody to help us in that area. Just throw a fuel scoop on something. Fly by gas giants. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to steal a few ships at some point. Yep. We'll stock up over time with what we need, I'm sure. All right, so on your approach, approach, approach. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still finishing my pizza. Mm -hmm. Good job. Um, on, <laughs> I would like Dodgy to give me a use the force check. Ooh. I hear that I'm okay at those. <laughs> Do I have an inspiring speech? No. Nope. I Whoa. don't think you need it. Whoa. 26. The isn't fact that that is your minimum. I was going to say, isn't yeah, that your that's minimum? one above my minimum. My minimum is 25. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Well, ish. I mean, you can feel it. You're force sensitive enough. There's, um... This planet is kind of like a gash in the force. There's been so much death here that it hangs like a pall in the air. Don't like that. We've just um, gotten used to it. <laughs> yeah, they've gotten used to it. Um, I don't think Dodgy has. <laughs> nope. Which is why I'm doing this, but yes. Um, it feels like the whole planet is dead to begin with. Um, and that there's been a lot of, like... Force-sensitive death? Hmm. Oh, we might want to... Um, give me a galactic lore check. Or galactic history? Galactic, galactic lore. Galactic lore is as close as you're going to get. 
-hmm. Yeah. I don't think that's going to work. Oh, or oh, I can natural right. 20 it. I mean, <laughs> wow, that's you an option. That. All right. I mean, well, it makes sense. Yes. Given Dodgy's uh, propensity and need to be a uh, Jedi Knight, uh, you are suddenly reminded of why Rusan was such a, like, the word Rusan kind of, like, nudged at you. It's like, why do I know this? And then you're like, oh, wait a minute. As soon as you feel the deaths and everything, it clicks in your mind. There is uh, one of the history lessons taught to Jedi is about the Battle of Rusan. Um, it was the last big encounter between Sith and Jedi. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. It's the location where the Brotherhood of Darkness was defeated by the Army of Light. Gotcha. Um, and a whole bunch of death. Okay. Yeah. This planet was basically scoured clean, nearly. Um, the indigenous uh, species were m almost entirely wiped out because of the battle that happened here. Uh, incidentally, the indigenous species is Force-sensitive, so that was even worse. Um, Dodgy is noticeably apprehensive about going here, but... <laughs> Are you like, right, the closer Dodgy? they get, the more he's just, like, anxious. Are you going to be all right, Dodgy? Oh, I don't know. Wake up after going to sleep from a reactor explosion, find out all the Jedi are dead, and then you tell me the last one is on Rusan. Yeah, like, you well, do realize the best place to hide is some place that no one's going to sense him because if a force sensitive comes here, all they're going to sense is death. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is probably the best place for him to hide. But don't you just kind of like speechlessly like yes but <laughs> uh. <sighs> hey it works and besides there's actually a jedi temple here you should oh also, you have to see this crystal this crystal uh, in there is huge hey, hey savor what we might also want to warn him about the uh sith temple that's also here oh yeah there's a sith temple too yeah with sith ghosts they're there's only one. Oh no, there's a lot. No, 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 no. Right, no. there's a lot of stuff. No, 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 no. Uh, we don't go into the temple. I mean, we, we could. No, we're not going into but, that temple. But think about all the technology and all the knowledge from that era. I mean, come on, you in particular. Yes, but I mean, it was we were... full of Sith ghosts, and eh. we will probably notice a lot more now. That we've oh, probably, but we can avoid a lot more, too. Uh, Plus, if we take dodgy... Wait, well, true. No, there one was there. one that tried to the, kill, there was kill one that, you. Yeah, he just the one whiffed. that stabbed you? He just whiffed until he actually got you. Yes, but he still stabbed you. A ghost stabbed you. <laughs> uh, I mean... I haven't. Really? I've thought about it. I mean, I haven't either, but that's because I'm not very good with this yet. None of you are filling me with confidence about this. <laughs> See, this is kind of sort of our second base of operations. Mm -hmm. Your second base of operations is on a planet of death? Uh, filled with the Sith ghosts. Well, I, I mean, a majority of the populace and... doesn't know any of this because they're not force sensitive and it's kind of Jedi history, so most people so, don't know about it. Oh, hey, what about the prophecy? Don't tell, okay. don't, don't, don't. <laughs> okay, let's just go and let Dodgy meet Plet before we kind of implode his uh, brain. You're too late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay, I can help you. Uh -huh, start uh -huh, if you uh -huh. I've gotten better at piloting, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cue Dodgy going, wait, any shit to Jedi statues? <laughs> oh, uh, we didn't actually say that yet, though. Tested. Oh, oh yeah, didn't hear that. <laughs> oh, no. 
I feel like this whole series is gonna be Dodgy just going, oh no. <laughs> oh, Let's this just is, get there, please. This is why they start them young. Got it. <laughs> 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 so we go about the same thing we normally do we basically uh communicate why we're coming to the planet explain blah 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 we've yeah. done this a bunch of times yeah your your ruse of uh this being an excavation site is still <laughs> holding up somehow yes. i mean archaeology yes archaeology Oh, that reminds me. I should probably forge some documents about that soon. Probably. In case they actually ask us for credentials. <laughs> and then we'll head over and... Yeah, and as you guys do the flyby towards the valley... Oh, poor uh, Dodgy. Uh, I have cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> um, Dodgy gets his first sight of the hundred Jedi statues that line the valley. <clears throat> Look, that's the one that she chipped. Seriously, I was still learning how to pilot. I don't see you guys ever trying to fly a giant ship. You're giving Tess ideas. Stop it. These are no. no. <laughs> These are priceless historical artifacts. I chipped one. There's 99 perfectly intact ones still. There are 99 statues. And you <laughs> ruined one. I didn't ruin one. I chipped it. I did not destroy it. Oh, I am very, <sighs> very satisfied right now. Let's just meet Flet. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna head there. Happens. So we basically have to land and then take speeder bikes through a canyon. Because I the think ship can't speeder bikes. Doesn't have to. Speeder bikes. Something. Something's familiar about speeder bikes. Um. So. Familiar. <laughs> Are you actually remembering something for once? That is uncalled for. Yeah, that means. <laughs> hey, I don't know what's going to actually trigger you to remember stuff. Okay. It's a good thing, isn't it? I don't know. I'm hoping it's a good thing. Yeah, probably. Okay. So we head over to uh, the Jedi Temple that we know Plet is staying at. Mm-hmm. Um, and the other two Jedi. Oh, yeah, there's two more Jedi here. Besides Plet, by the way. <laughs> wait, what? When did that happen? I mean, Remember? The, oh, the younglings. Yeah, the younglings. They're basically and Jedi at this point. Didn't we actually bring... Wait, two? Yeah, we brought Master Slab here. Oh, yeah, yeah, Master Slab is here. Um, well, we dropped him off. We didn't really her. do much. It, her. We dropped her off, but it was literally drop off and say, sorry, we have to go, but th keep this safe. Bye. <laughs> Basically. I mean, first the thought bomb, then this, you know. Thought bomb? <laughs> do I want to know? <laughs> really, Rasan? Uh, yeah, and it's, yeah, got don't the souls go near of, it. it's got the souls of, I think oh, it was, no. what, a thousand Jedi and a thousand Sith, or a hundred Jedi, a hundred Sith, something like that. hundred. Trapped inside it. <sighs> Anyways, let's go introduce you to Plet. Maybe All right. he can explain things in a way that won't make your brain implode. <laughs> oh, I, I doubt it. I don't know, he seems like a pretty well-put-together guy. <laughs> all right so you guys um take your speeder bikes to the temple um as you approach you see the young ethorian in his little patch of uh growing stuff He's actually growing stuff here. It's incredible. Yeah, it's it's hard work. But, but I'm sure like he loves it. it. He looks up kind of startled as he hears you guys approaching in the distance and eventually waves, but 
kind of looks very curiously towards the one weird person. Okay, in this group, who is the weird person? Let's be clear. <laughs> the yeah. one he's never seen before. Yeah. The new weird person. He is a 13-year-old Ithorian male. So he's a tiny, tiny Ithorian. Definitely not a Jedi. Anyone going to introduce us? I guess we can. Um, Dodgy, this is Biff. Biff, this is Dodgy. Uh, hello. Um, are you hiding your Force signature? Uh, yes. Okay. Whoa, did... You actually could tell? No. That's why no. I'm saying that's why I was asking. Oh, no, I thought it no. like was Biff saying it because of No, 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 no. That was me no. asking. No. Technology it. isn't actually, I don't think so. He isn't? I mean they're there to meet Jedi. Yeah. He's okay with letting them sense him. Yeah. All right. Plus um, it's not like if, if we were like sneaking past a blockade or something, he would have been, but now you're here, and this is a Jedi temple. Actually, yeah. on approach of the temple, you would be able to feel the giant... Uh, there is a giant um, kyber crystal inside the temple. Um, so that kind of resonates. <laughs> How giant is uh, giant, are we talking here? Ginormous! Giant, um, I think it's 20 feet across. Okay, so that huge. that's huge. Yes. It is quite large. It is probably... Yeah, it's about 20 feet across. Um, it's probably the largest intact kyber crystal. Hmm. That's not spooky at all. <laughs> What's even spookier is out of character in... It when we first all poked it, it uh, kind of made us all level and unlocked our force sensitivity bullshit. Okay, that that's actually kind of cool. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys Dodgy hasn't touched it yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. But yeah, no, this thing actually uh, helped us when we were lower level when we poked it. I, I never actually finished this map, but anyways, the, the there's the that's the size of the crystal in regards to your tokens. That blue thing. Wow. Yeah, it used to be pretty blurry. Um, screw you. Uh, so Biff is, is interested because he can sense that you are force sensitive, but you are also a droid, but is too polite to ask anything. <laughs> Oh, I love people like that. It makes <laughs> things so much easier. <laughs> um, hey, Biff, where is uh, Master Plet? Uh, meditating by the Thought Bomb, as usual. Yeah. Caroni's inside. She's cooking. There. I think she was making cupcakes. And we just lost Gabby, didn't we? Yeah, Gavi's probably making a beeline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's probably, Gabby's just like, nice to see you, Biff, quick hug. Bye! I'm gonna go see Caroni. <laughs> Cupcakes! <laughs> a good baker, I presume? Yes. Yes. I mean, she, yeah, she, she makes really good food. Shall we go see Master Plet then? Might as well. We have no idea how long he'll be meditating there if we don't go and speak to him. So let's head over there. Warning, the uh, cave where the thought bomb is might feel even weirder. I'm at least hey. warning you of this. Oh, hey, should we tell him about the uh, other four sensitives around? The little floof balls? They'll come visit us, I'm sure. Yeah, they might think he's the Jedi of prophecy. What? 
Yeah, they think <laughs> everyone is. Yeah. Like, l- let's be honest. They thought we were, you guys were. Mm-hmm. Back, back before we were actually... To no, be you fair, are. you guys did stop the eye of Palpatine. <laughs> Could be a Jedi prophecy. Not a Jedi. Yet. Not a Jedi. Never will be. Yet. Never will be a Jedi. <clears throat> yes, let's go. Mm-hmm. Freaky um, evil cave combined with the words thought bomb does nothing to reassure me. Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, honestly, Dodgy, this is shit we've been dealing with since we met Tess. Oh, th- this was the first. Oh, so, th- so this is why Tess is just <laughs> Tess. Yeah. No, <laughs> she was no, like, I, I'm pretty sure we met her. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is why shit like this happened. It's because of Tess, not the other way around. Oh, it absolutely is all because of Tess. (laughs) (laughs) And then we head to the cave. All right. So one thing I uh, would mention for Dodgy's benefit is that Biff is a youngling. Um, you can sense that, like, the patch of land that he's basically made to grow is purely due to the Force. Like, he's using the Force to grow stuff on this uh, desert that used to be full of life, but was, you know, scoured clean by... Oh, that's impressive. Dodgy compliments him, like, as they're leaving, like, just offhandedly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so you guys head to the cave. It's on the side of the, uh, valley, so it takes you guys, I think it was like an hour's walk from, no, it was something like 20 minutes. Um, it w- yeah, it was closer it was, than yeah. an hour, but, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, because Rasan spotted it from the temple. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's, um, the cave is close as well to what looks like an old, uh, scaffolding on the side of the, uh, cliff. And there is a nexus of, you know, dark Sith force signature on the top of that cliff. The Sith complex that they mentioned earlier. (laughs) Dodgy kind of like, even as they walk past it, like, turns to like walk sideways and then walk backwards away from it. Like, very much is keeping an eye on it. Yep. <laughs> it's daytime, Dodgy. Nothing comes out from there. That you know of. You can't really? be sure of that. You're not helping Rasan. <laughs> Who? Me? Yes, you. Look, we haven't had enough time to do this type of banter for a while. <sighs> I'm going to I mean, enjoy yes. it while I can. Fair enough. All right, so you guys enter the tunnel. Yep. And as you get deeper into the tunnel, Dodgy, you start feeling this thought bomb thing. Um, It's pretty unsettling. And the closer you get, the weirder it feels. What does it feel like? Uh... Just disturbing, or...? Yeah, it's... It's like a bunch of spirits of Jedi trapped and not able to rest in peace. Well, that's just depressing. Yep. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we see flat? Um, as you approach, you see the bomb itself, um, which is basic. Basically, looks like an egg, but it has like swirls and stuff. Like you can almost see the souls within, uh, swirling um, inside it in perpetual torment. Um, it basically has a silverish, iridescent glow. And in front of it, you see a Hoden. Um, 
Jedi Master seated in meditation. He kind of tilts his head to the side as you guys approach and kind of unfolds himself to turn to look at you guys and in particular dodging. Hi, Plet! Master Plet? I presume? Yes. Plet, this is Dodgy Dodgy. dodgy. Yeah, this yes, is what? Plet. Wait. Huh? What? You knew him already? Blink. Blink. Dodgy's just kind of standing there like, you knew me? You know him? I, I do. It's not impossible. I served in the Clone Wars. You didn't die. I pretty close. Do you not remember me? I remember very little of the Clone Wars. I remember more of the Arcanian Wars, which was a different time. Yes. Hmm. Uh, part of me is uh, glad, is really hoping your master actually did die during the Clone Wars, because she would never let this pass. I'm afraid I don't remember anyone other than Master Elum. Hmm. I suppose what happened to you must have affected your memory. We thought you had died during the explosion. Uh, Dodger kind of gestures at the rest of the crew and says, they can vouch that it was a close thing. We yeah. kind of found him by accident? Well, It was not an accident. It was the will of the Force. So you say. Yes, will of the Force it should have been, considering you ended up here now. Seriously, you know him? What the hell? Okay, this is weird. <laughs> Don't you just, like, half chuckles at how outraged... <laughs> Yeah, this is really weird. Yeah, thank you! Thank you! This is really weird. Are but, we seriously going to encounter more people that you know that you don't know, but they know who... This is possibly. Weird. I mean, it's not... Hmm. It's not impossible. It's not impossible, no. Though, considering how few of us survived, it might not be that common. But perhaps we should go back to the temple before we talk more. This place is not the best yes. for conversation. <laughs> Understatement. That would be great. Thank you very much. <laughs> Narg with a kid. Um, <laughs> all right. So he leads you guys back to the temple. Um, on the way there, he kind of walks along with Dodgy. Your master during the Clone Wars um, was called Neyu. Does that ring any bells? Feelings, but not memories. Hmm. Well, it may come back to you, it may not. We... You're a curious lot. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, <laughs> if they were anything like those that I have been with now, it would... I'm sure it is quite the tale. Mm, they were a... Mm. Yes, the people of the Fragmented Dawn were a bit peculiar. Fragmented Dawn, I'm totally looking that up later. 
Any um, info you find, let me know, okay? The, the reason I know you, Dodgy, is because Neyu's master, Kariani, she was my Padawan. Oh, so I'm like, if we use biological systems here, a great, great Padawan of yours? <laughs> right? I did the math there, right? I think so. Only one great, I think. I think it's only one great. Yep, great. Dodgy uh, was clearly just trying to, like, lighten the situation because yeah. he's on a death world filled with a thought bomb for some reason. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, it hides him really well. It does. Yeah. You're not wrong, but that doesn't make it pleasant. <laughs> I mean, we're just kind of used to it by this point. A grand one. Grand one. <laughs> does Tess say that out loud? I'm really curious. <laughs> she would. She totally would. So it would. Radawan sounds better. Grandawan. That's weird. Let's never use that word again. <laughs> Regardless. <laughs> I am glad to know that I am not all that survived the Clone Wars. We don't know for sure how many survived. I have reason to suspect um, Obi One survived and is in hiding as I am. Wait, what? Rassam would know that name, wouldn't he? Would if he? Only would he? Key would figures any of in us history. Know? Key figures in history. He was a part of the Clone Wars, and they he can't cover pretty... all of that up. He was pretty big in the Clone Wars. I mean, he was Skywalker's but... master too. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? That asshole, I don't care about him. <laughs> Pieces of shit ruining good business. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Sounds what do you like mean, you oh yeah? Bit, sounds like you have a bit of personal experience with- Do you know how annoying it was to deal with Jedi during the Clone Wars? They kept interrupting good business. Sorry. You find a good place to lay low, you find a place to sell your shit, and then nope, Jedi show up, or nope, you'd have other people show up. It, bad business all around. Sorry, I was locked up. Well, not locked up, but I was holed up in Nar Shadda. Yeah, and I was trying to sell weapons, thank you very much. War is very profitable. Ah, uh, you would say that. But it is. <sighs> I see you all are as energetic as, nor as always. We kind of just survived what we thought we would die from, so... Yeah, that was kind of it, it's, it's kind of a high of... Uh, we're actually alive right now. Uh-huh. Well, you'll have to tell me all about it. Uh, Planning to. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. What, you don't want to tell him? I mean... It's not like he's going to get the actual story from anything on news he might hear about. True. I can sense this battle has taken a toll on you. Mm, yeah, uh, we were reintroduced to somebody. Well, somebody? There were two, three people. Some... We never actually met the Inquisitor before. We, were we so felt him. Running. We were too busy running. Well, and, Tess, Yeah, but... Tess had and we all felt him. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dodgy at this point just straight up names the three people they ran into. <laughs> Just, like, matter of fact, not even, like, no emotion behind it. I mean, he only met them for, like, 30 seconds tops. I think the battle lasted more than 30 seconds. Yeah, I think for drama purposes, it, probably... it probably lasted a little longer than okay, that. Okay, okay, yeah. you know what I meant. Yes. yes. Yeah, it was hey, more like a was... minute. 
that if that was his introduction to them. Yeah. Hi, bye, throw you into each other, you die. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, well, they're all dead now, thankfully. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect them to die from that, okay? I don't care, I, I'm glad they died. I expected to have to do, like, a final last stand while you guys killed off the Inquisitor, but no. <laughs> they okay, were doing like, pretty bad. I'd like to point out, I did a lot of damage to Kestra, thank you very much. I was just expecting the bosses to have stupid amounts of HP. They did. They did. Stupider. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Any more, and it just becomes a bag of hit points. <laughs> yeah. I think they yeah. have just the right amounts. But yeah, Plat, they, they're dead, thankfully. Hmm. I sense they've left a mark on all of you. That will take some time to heal. Yeah. Eh. We're planning on laying low anyway, so it'll work for that. So much shit to fix. So many things to find, and so many things to build. Build and fix. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys get back to the temple, to the lovely scent of freshly baked cupcakes. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna go have down a cupcake. Yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> Dodgy is gonna stay because he doesn't need to eat. Oh. <laughs> in fact, I don't know if he has olfactory sensors in this body. Probably, Probably not. not. Probably not. I don't see why they would want... Only reason... Uh -huh. mm, probably. But yeah, once we smelled the cupcakes, it was like, yeah, no, we need these. Did you guys find Caroni in the kitchen slapping Gabby's hand away as she tries to let them cool a bit before, you know, getting... Can I try and make a stealth check to stop Yeah, her? can I try and get one while she's distracted with Gabby? <laughs> sure. You're stealth? terrible. And I get to re-roll these, if they're bad. Uh, it would be stealth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm re-rolling that because stealthy. <laughs> I don't think we're trying to be too <laughs> That's even worse! <laughs> oh my god, and you have to keep that one! I do! You crit <laughs> fail! <laughs> That's great! Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the time that we don't need to actually roll well. Okay, he has a box. Uh, oh wow! Yep. Yeah. Oh come on! Ow! You just want to cupcake? Jedi precision, just whack, whack, whack! <laughs> Ow! Come on! Dodgy steps forward and just says, respectfully, "May I have one?" You don't even eat. <laughs> but I she will enjoy the experience. <laughs> oh, that's just mean. Crony looks at you and was like, Sure, why not? If she oh, gives you one. On. Oh, that is so. <laughs> Dutch just holds it. <laughs> just like, I have this now. <laughs> you asshole! <laughs> I'd like to move that object to knock it out of his hand. <laughs> that would be an opposed check show. I know. Yep. I'm kidding, because I know it would not work. <laughs> Considering I'd have to roll a, above a 12 just to meet his lowest roll. Uh-huh. Hmm. Do it! Uh, well. No, because you I'm not You said you were gonna shy. do it, do it! I said, could I? And then I was like, no. He wouldn't actually waste food. Street kid. <laughs> He might use the move light object to but, steal but, one. But but wouldn't, you should do it anyways. You should totally do that. Wouldn't Dodgy holding something he can't eat be a waste of food? Yeah. It's true. But yeah, then Rassam wouldn't try and knock it out of his hand. He'd try and pull it to himself. Yeah. Fine. Let's see how terribly this goes. Oh, he wants that cupcake. He does. I don't think that Dodgy's gonna. Now he gets it. shown up by Dodgy. Yeah. All right. Oh my 
my goodness! No. no. Dodger just passes. Oh, oh my god! Happen. Seriously? Rasan looks right at Savor and takes a bite. <laughs> you could have asked, but I know. But this is training, isn't it? No, it isn't. Seriously, can I have a cupcake now? No. Please. All right. She hands you guys cupcakes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I told you to wait. Yeah, it's all right, huh? Mm-hmm. You guys need to learn a bit of patience. Mm. I've been trying. <laughs> <laughs> I have patience, but not with cupcakes. You're supposed to have them while they're still hot. No, you're not. Yes, you you're are. You're supposed to wait so that the icing will actually stay on and not melt. Exactly. You wait for it to cool so you can frost it without the icing melting. You don't yeah, these are the not icing. ice. Uh, there, there's no icing on it yet. Oh, that's yeah. Fine. I don't need then it. Then it's a bastardized muffin, not a cupcake. <laughs> it's you still take a cupcake. That back. She just you took it out of the back. oven. She can't put the frosting on yet. <sighs> Glad one person in this kitchen has a speck of intelligence. Sephora just sits down and continues eating her cupcake. <laughs> her bastardized cupcake. Yeah. Cupcake with no frosting. It's still a cupcake. Whatever. Um, for <sighs> Yaz's benefit, Caroni is a Thalothian female of about 17 years old. Ah, another young lady. Yep. Is she using the force to cook? Yes. I'm so proud. (laughs) (laughs) After my own heart, she is. You can tell she's like, she's she may be seventeen, but she's like the mom. The mom of the group. She is the mom. Yeah. Keep forgetting, Gabby's fifteen. God, she's young. She's younger than Tess. Yep. Oh man. They're all tiny children. Yep, not anymore. Uh, Dodgy's a bit older. Just a only, bit. Only like a couple thousand years. Yeah. <laughs> Realistically, like 60, because before they move off planet, they're super slow, but. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> Well, they can't be kyber crystals. There's... Yeah, this is a kyber crystal. But because of its size, it is fairly more sentient than the average kyber crystal. Dodgy is super interested in this crystal. It probably resonates with you, too. Because, like, it can sense this, like, other crystal uh, crystal being that is also force-sensitive in its... uh, Vicinity. Oh, good. A sentient kyber crystal the size of a house that that, uh, wants to resonate with me. Fun. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Plet kind of gives you the rundown of how these kids survived. He and the younglings had been on a uh, outing, basically. Uh, Kaz, the, the, the older Nautilon that stayed behind, Gabby, Caroni, and Biff. Um, when Order 66 went down, they were on their own. And feeling what was going on, Plet basically hid the, three, uh, the four kids. Six. Well, six at the time. Um, on, on the planet they were on. And basically laid low until, until these guys happened. We ruined everything. No, we didn't. They were already coming, weren't they? They were. We stopped them from being killed. Therefore, we did not ruin everything. Uh, uh, I I think they would have been able to get away still. With what ship? They had a ship. The fire spray. You stole their ship? No. 
Oh, Actually, okay, to be fair, they had it was bounty hunters. Bounty hunters first, who went to try and kill them. Yeah, there were a force sensitive bounty hunters um, that had located them, but Plet decided that because the bounty hunters had been able to find them, it would only be a matter of time before the Empire sent more. Mm. So they were going to get out. Uh, Plet basically dealt with the bounty hunters, and the the fire sprite was the bounty hunters' ship. And dealt with the bounty hunters' awful, awful dogs. Born scares. Awful, awful dogs. They hunt for sensitive beings. Mm-hmm. Terrible, and, awful dogs. And nearly rips Savor's throat out. Hmm. But yeah, that's how we met Plet. And then we suggested them going here because, you know, they can hide because no one's going to be able to sense them through all that shit that's on this planet. And Plet seemed interested in the bomb. By the way, any progress with that thing at all? Partially. It would require quite a bit of energy from force sensitives to release the thought bomb. What is the purpose of the thought bomb? Uh, uh, it, hmm. it was a, a created via Sith, Sith alchemy and is a prison for 100 Jedi souls. Hmm. Well, how much energy are we talking here? Well, according to the... I forgot what their names were. Bouncers? Bouncers. Just one Jedi, but it would require a Jedi with quite a lot of skill to... undo the thought bomb. I've... From what I can tell, it has been weakening over the centuries, and that will make it easier to defuse as time goes on. I do not think I have the power to do it myself, but in meditating by it, I am hoping to weaken it further, so that once the time comes, it will be an easier task for the Jedi who finally releases those with it. The ones the bouncers are waiting for? Yes. That makes sense. What if one of us were to lend you strength? Could you free them sooner? It is possible. What if the... more than one of us did, and you were just the one directing it? I couldn't hear you, show. What if more than one of us was involved in lending strength, and it was just the one, the most skilled, who was directing it? It is possible, but if we fail, it could kill us. Everything else is trying to kill us. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eh, we'll worry about that later. Let's just enjoy cupcakes for now. Mm -hmm. And maybe leave some so that I can, you know, put some frosting on it. What? I'm still eating this one. <laughs> I just don't inhale mine like most people. That sounded very judgy coming from you. This is the person who literally just has crumbs in front of him right now. Girl. Sorry, that was Earl knocking my plate into the microphone. Good job, Earl. Ah, uh, Earl. <sighs> yeah, so apparently Plet has the same bonus to use the force as Dodgy does. That's even more horrifying for Dodgy. 
Oh. And he's a level 15. Horrifying! <laughs> yeah. Um. I kind of want to just pass Pled a shit ton of force points and see if he can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you can do that. Mm-hmm. Well. <sighs> Anyways, seems like we're I don't know. Enjoying cupcakes. Yes. yes, I'm a little out of it today, sorry. It's, it's all fine. right. Um, yep, I think this is a good point for us to stop uh, for a break. Okay. And we'll be back. Be right back, guys. Hey, guys. And by that, I mean hi, guys, not hi, gas. Um Wow, thanks. I see how it is. Yeah, that's mean. Yay. <laughs> Hello, guys. Guys includes Gaz. Um, where were we? Oh, yes. Um, you guys had cupcakes. Uh, probably some other very vegetarian food. Um, probably from the veggies that were grown um, by Biff. Biff. And um, I'm guessing eventually kind of retire to the different chambers in the um, temple. Once everyone else goes to sleep, Savora is going to find Plet because she kind of needs to talk to him. Okay. Dodgy also wanted to talk to Plet, so I don't know how you want to work that out. Um, well, to be fair, before everyone goes to bed, Plet probably, like, as you guys were in the temple, kind of spent time telling Dodgy a bit about, like, Neyu and the Clone Wars. That works, Dodgy can go first. And kind of, like, trying to see if anything, like, sparks anything in Dodgy's memory. It probably, like, slowly starts to bring back stuff, like, as he starts talking about something I did, Dodgy will, like, fill in the rest of the story. Yeah. <laughs> um, but once there's, like, a break in the story, Dodgy just kind of says, You're a proper Jedi Master. I wanted to reintroduce or rebuild the Order at least as it was taught to me, and I'm not sure how to put this, but it would probably be nice if you were on board. Hmm. I think that is a noble cause. I am not sure if the galaxy is ready yet for that to happen. Training for sensitives right now is very dangerous, both for the person training and those receiving it. It is why I never let my younglings become true Padawans. I taught them more about how to hide their force sensitivity and control it than to be Jedi Knights. Because right now, to be a Jedi Knight is to be hunted and killed. I think that concealing and discipline are both important skills. And I don't want to separate that from the rest of the training, but from what it sounds like, you may be aware that I have a somewhat different view towards most of the Order. Yes, By which that is I mean true. Master Illum and my original training were far different than, well, how the order liked things to be taught. 
they did excommunicate him for it, after all. Yes, and that is why you were never given the title of Jedi Knight. Well, not by those on Coruscant, no. They did give you the option, though. If you had continued your training with the Master Neyu, her job was more to help see if you could be indoctrinated to their way of seeing things, I suppose. Regardless of the past, in the present, I'm not going to let them move forward without training. They need guidance, at the very least. Yes, I've done what I can. I gave them some training in the past. They are... Yes, I suppose going forward... We cannot return to that what, which we had before Order 66 happened. I recognize now that the Jedi had, perhaps we had lost our way, become a bit too rigid and blind to the force around us. Do you think you are better suited to this task? If you are wishing to stay hidden here, then I do not think there is an option to be taken. I doubt they will be content to farm and cook. Not to disparage your younglings, but they need a master who will work with them out in the galaxy. Hmm. Yes, and you have quite a lot of experience in that. Well, it will be the third war that I fight in. Force willing, it will be the last. Wars tend to be cyclical. Those of us who live long enough to see more than one, it can grow tiresome. But if you are willing to continue fighting, then I am not going to stop you. And if you think that you can bring about a better Jedi Order, then I suppose I would look forward to that. Then I will accept your blessing, as it may be, and do what I can. I think, hmm, perhaps it is time that you do take on the Jedi Knight mantle. Given what is left of the old days, I uh, believe I'm the one with the highest hierarchy in the Order. So I think we can perhaps do a bit of a little ceremony there, if that will make you feel better I think it would did did none of the council survive not to distract from the honor but I do not know I assume Obi-Wan survived only because he managed to send out uh, an alert to the other Jedi that it was not safe to return to the temple on Coruscant. Beyond that, there is a danger in reaching out with the Force, so that if any of the other council members survived, they will be in hiding and not trying to make themselves known. Understandable. Thank you, Master Plett. If we are to do this properly, and if you do want to continue on with the Jedi tradition, then perhaps you should go into meditation. 
I cannot promise to teach the Jedi Order how it was taught to me. The abandonment of connection seems to me a way that one would fall to the dark side if you have nothing to hold yourself together in the light. But I will take that advice and go meditate. Very well. And there is a pretty nice meditation chamber on the second floor for that purpose. Yay! Right above the huge kyber crystal. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I see um, Dodgy having a pretty long conversation with the crystal during his meditation. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> That Probably crystal's happy. Been there for quite a while. All right, so Dodgy goes to have his meditation. Um, the Jedi practice said it was 24 hours. I'm not sure if Dodgy's going to do that or how long he's going to plan his meditation. Good luck. <laughs> And in the meantime, I think Savor was approaching Plet as Plet is on his own now. Yeah. Um, Savor just quietly approaches, checking to make sure no one else is around, and is like, uh, Plet, can I talk to you for a minute? Of course. How can I help you? Uh... So you know what happened with us on the Eye of Palpatine and everything. Uh, once, basically once we were actually going to survive and stuff, I uh, I felt this, and Savor pulls out the crystal because she's kept it with her since she got it. It was like, I've been working quite a bit with the kyber crystals we found and this one called out to me and like i can tell it's in pain it wants me to help it but i don't know how can i help it i don't know what to do here he glances at the crystal that is interesting um I'm not sure how much experience we have on crystals like this. It is indeed a kyber crystal, but it has been tainted by the dark side. Forced to do its will against its wants. Yeah, I... I took this out of the lightsaber that Uga had, and I do have another crystal as well that I took from uh, Kessra's whip, but this one is the one that called out to me, and if it's asking for help, I want to help it, but, I mean... If I, you heard it like that, then it is definitely the crystal that has called out to you to be used. I believe you will have a bit of a harder time attuning it to you, but I believe it is possible. If, you will have to meditate with it. So if I attune to it and meditate with it, it'll stop being in pain? Because it's really uncomfortable being around this because it's in pain. And like I can tell, it, it feels different than the other crystals I've been working with. Dark powers, dark force powers have been channeled through this crystal. Much like you channeled dark, the dark side through your body, do you not <laughs> feel that same resonation? I'm trying to ignore it. Like, I don't like it, okay? But Tess was in trouble. Rasan was running to help her. I wanted to help her. I had to get Kessler out of the way. So I just did the same thing she had done to me. She tried to kill me. 
why is it bad to do that if I'm trying to protect myself and go help my friend? Were you trying to protect yourself or were you trying to kill her? Both. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to kill her because like, she's been a threat to me since I first encountered her. Mm -hmm. I think the problem is that you first thought of wanting to kill her and not wanting to defend. You not only tried to kill her by what you did, but you also hurt her, and I believe you wanted to. And yeah, that, she's a bitch. And that is the call of the dark side. You know, just I like, really... Just what? like you hurt her, he, the person who held this crystal hurt the crystal. Yeah, well, I don't want to hurt the crystal. I want to help the crystal. Kester, on the other hand, was a piece of shit who had hurt me plenty of times. Yes, it was going to hurt her back. Like, I wasn't going to defeat her throwing flowers and shit at her. Perhaps. But you think meditating will help with this crystal? Yes, but you will have to center yourself first if you wish to help others. <sighs> you cannot heal pain with pain. I'm not trying to use pain on it. And besides, Kestra's dead now. I'm moving on from it. Will you? This is the second time you met her. This is the second time that you have used the dark side. Yeah. Well, first time it was more I shot her dog. This was the first time I did that lightning thing. Well, both times you were guided by fear. Yeah. You cannot let fear guide your hand. And that is what meditation is for. Acknowledge the fear, but do not let the fear take control. Ugh. I'll try, because I want to help this crystal. Perhaps you should tr try less and do more. You know, sometimes you Jedis really annoy me. <laughs> well, you know where the meditation chambers are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Savor's gonna go meditate. <laughs> <laughs> she is a bitch, and I don't care if that's a call to the dark side. She's a bitch, was. All right, anyone else need wisdom from the Jedi Master? <laughs> I think Rizan has actually passed out by now. <laughs> it's been a long couple days. Yeah, Savor's gonna just meditate with the crystal for now. Wait, so she walks in and just sees Dodgy sitting there meditating? <laughs> well, there's more than one meditation chamber. There's quite a few. Lame. What? You gotta get, give some privacy to the meditating people. I guess that's fair. They're probably not, like, enclosed doors, but more like partitioned areas. Yeah, that's what they oh, were. Oh, good, it's a earlier. cubicle farm of meditation. Basically. Yeah, basically. Just lots of pillows everywhere and, like, almost see-through curtains. <laughs> um... All right, so once Dodgy um, finishes his meditation, um, Plet and he'd probably invite the others, if only because 
there's not much of a Jedi Council to do the circle of uh, Jedi. Um, goes through the small ceremony of appointing Dodgy as a Jedi Knight. Making it official, so to speak. Yay. Rasan watches with rapt attention. <laughs> so Dodgy is an official Jedi Knight. And um, he basically says, I, I hope to be around to see what you construct. God, that's depressingly true. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, his master's 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 this year. <laughs> True. That's almost the same thing, right? Mm-hmm. No. Not at all. Plenty new you or nothing alike and you know it. At all. <laughs> yeah. I, I honestly don't know what the Jedi Council was thinking of pointing Neyu to bring Dodgy into line. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> what? I think... I think it was more of, do we want to give uh, Neyu this guy who can defend himself or a tiny baby child? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> God, that's, that's fucked up. <laughs> Welcome to the Jedi Order. It was fucked up all around. Yeah. Yep. Uh... And now you're part of it, Dodgy. <laughs> On the one happy? hand, this is everything he's wanted. On the other hand, it's nothing at all like what he wanted. Well, get used to it. You've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> yup. Welcome to this awful galaxy where nothing goes the way you want. And when it does, there's something, something wrong, wrong with it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. right. Um, so that's, well, I don't know what else you guys have. Like, you guys can spend as much time here as possible. I'd say it takes Savor a while, especially given that... How many dark side points did you accumulate? Just one. Oh, okay. Um, but eventually she manages to clear the red crystal that she had taken from uh, Uga. Yay! And um, manages to you construct her lightsaber as well. Yep. I finally have a lightsaber, guys! Woo. Dodgy is very proud. Yeah, I'm sure Dodgy was there helping to make sure that she didn't blow herself up with making the crystal uh, the lightsaber. Okay, if anyone was possibly going to blow up a lightsaber building it, it was going to be Tess. Yeah, she <laughs> still needs to build her lightsaber. Yep. So I'm guessing all three of you just, like, settle down with Dodgy and a bunch of pieces of equipment and start building your lightsabers with Dodgy as your uh, master. I had already had one. Ursan already has his. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Savar already had a box with all the parts she needed and she just didn't realize it. <laughs> yep. She's been accumulating it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Mm, knowing her workshop, probably. But it's probably you have to find the pieces yourself. She just had this box of shit she's been collecting, and it's literally everything she needs for the lightsaber. <laughs> and for the record, Savor's blade is a pale yellow. Ooh. So we all have different colors, guys. Yep. Is Dodgy the only one with a standard color lightsaber? Actually, no, Sabor is the only one with a non-standard. With a non-standard. I have a oh, blue. Oh, okay. And yeah, Rasan's okay. is blue, Tess is green. So. Mm -hmm. Which is ironic, because Rasan is more of a consular than Tess. 
Yeah, it's the way shit works out. Yeah. But yeah, Savor is the only one with the weird color. Yeah. And I didn't go with white because that's kind of Ahsoka's deal. But given that Savor is also not a Jedi, um, a non-standard color seemed to work for her. I will never be a Jedi. I will argue with you on that till the end of time. She's not a Jedi. Sure, <laughs> Jedi. She's not a Jedi. Mm-hmm. So she's I'm not, not an you... old school Jedi. Hmm? I don't think she's a new school Jedi either. She's not a Jedi. She is an unaligned so, force user. What were you user. about to say, Karu? Um, yes, I am under the impression that uh, the uprising, and specifically the leaders of the uprising, meaning you guys, uh, oh, want weird. to want to lay low for the yes. next while. Yep. Yes. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Uh huh. So once you're done with all the Jedi bullshit on Rusan, I'm guessing you guys return to Boss Pity. Mm-hmm. You have an organization that is beginning to grow, it's um, and all the time in the world, aka five year skip. Um, what do you guys want to accomplish in those five years? Um. Well, one thing I do want to build up a network that's not. Yais in particular, mostly because it's clear that at least parts of it are compromised. I also want to just get out there and grow and experience things. Okay. So travel. So you're working. Travel um, and. Traveling, but traveling to also like make a network of spies I mean, and informants. Yeah. Like I said, that's one of the things, but he, the, but I also want to just kind of grow and learn. I might wind up recruiting Dodgy and being like, hey, let's have some Master Padawan time together and go to the Outer Rim and try and find some old Jedi stuff. Dodgy's fine with that. Cool. Nice. Okay. Dodgy is basically trying to guide these proto-Jedi into being proper Jedi. And I know, not Jedi. Unaligned Force users. And Rasan is trying to get Dodgy to loosen up a little bit and become more liberal. <laughs> uh, liberal how? <laughs> well, to start out with, you have at least Tess, Rasan, Gabby, and Kaz interested in continuing their Jedi training, I believe. Mm-hmm. I'm not Biff sure. Isn't? No, actually, Biff is perfectly content with what he's up to right now, and his goal is to eventually bring life back to Rusan. Hey, it's a wild hunt. Oh, wait. Dodgy thinks that is incredibly admirable. And, and adorable. It is. I mean, adorable, but, you know, it's, it's, he's trying his best. Yeah. It's a different type of fight, and the fight that a Jedi can actually get behind. Yeah, plus... Dodgy's all about using the Force to bring life to inanimate things. I mean, cough, cough, <laughs> droids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Caroni's basically helping him and keeping the idiots that are on Rusan from starving, so... She's not really that interested in becoming a knight, either. Plus, the two of them have Master Plat, like... Yeah. Yeah, Master Plot is helping Guide and helping Biff with his plans of bringing life back to this barren planet. So cute. But yeah, you at least have those four. Um, I don't know if you want to try and find four sensitives to save, basically. <laughs> Who wants to be? Wow, a little bit on the nose there, huh? I mean, honestly, if we're doing jobs and we come across a force sensitive who has nowhere to go, do you really think Dodgy's going to leave him alone? No. Yeah, I think that's basically how that works. Like, it's, oh it's basically going to be adopting someone who has nowhere else to go. 
So yeah, especially either... once Dodgy figures out that basically the way the Inquisitorius is working is they're either looking for Force sensitives and killing them, or looking for Force sensitives and recruiting them to the dark side. I don't think either of those are a good nope option. Uh-huh. Yeah, neither of those make him happy. Yeah. So and Rassam will probably also offer to if any of those that they find don't really want to be a part of it, don't really want to be a Jedi, and just want enough training to blend in to forge them new identities. Mm-hmm. Hey, he can have informants with them, too. I mean, that, that'll depend on their age, because if yeah. they're tiny babies, then... Oh, I know, but I mean, because not all Force Sensitives are going to be young. Case oh, in yes, point, I us. know. Yeah. But yeah, like, I mean, if we come across any who are Force Sensitive and need help, I don't think we not help them? I, I think that, like, as far as hunting for Force Sensitives goes, Dodgy isn't going to bring more attention to them by spotting them, but we have two Master Slicers. If the Inquisitorium starts hunting someone down, Dodgy tries to get there first. Mm-hmm. Okay. So basically keeping an eye out for that kind of information and trying to yeah. beat the Inquisitorius yeah. to those yep. Force Sensitives. Yep. Okay. Exactly. Um, what about Tess? Her harem. <laughs> okay. Lots of plot hooks. So many plot hooks. So basically she looks for a plot hook and just dives into it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then goes back and, for her, and then goes back for an episode of Jedi training before finding the next plot hook. Mm-hmm. Well, see, it's, it's like a plot hook of the week kind of deal. We always start and end with Jedi training, and in the middle, there's a plot hook. Yeah, that yeah. works. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just take whatever extra daily quests that you need to accomplish to round up your experience. <laughs> But then every episode ends the same way. That way you can watch the episodes out of order. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And you don't even notice how, like, the future episodes, like, Tess starts to grow up, but you don't quite notice it until you go back to the first episode, and, oh, God, she's so much bigger. (laughs) Wow, the art style really changed here. (laughs) Holy crap, man. (laughs) Oh, God, she did grow up. (laughs) It's kind of like what happened with Timey in Guild Wars 2. Oh Anyways, my gosh. Uh, so that's, yep, that sounds like Tess, all right. Uh, what yeah. about Savor? Um, Savor is going to be working to basically help supply this ragtag group of uh, fighters with more supplies over time. She's going to be mostly building and repairing. Um, and she's going to try and get more contacts in black market deals, so they're able to actually supply everything without going bankrupt. Mm -hmm. Um, Besides that, she's going to be working on building and inventing things that have to do with using kyber crystals. She's trying to experiment more with them and see what can be done besides lightsabers. But basically just constantly building shit. Like she's in a she she might disappear in a workshop for a week at a time, and then you hear an explosion because something blew up in her workshop, and then you know, okay, she's still alive, maybe, <laughs> or she was until up up until that explosion. Yeah, but then you hear cur- Zabrak cursing, and you know, okay, nope, she's fine. <laughs> All right. Um, you also said you clear clean clean up eventually the uh, crystal that belonged to Kesra. Yes, because she's not going to leave that. Um, she would also ask Tess if she'd be allowed to cleanse the crystal she has from the Inquisitor, but it's mostly up to her if she wants her to do that or not. Sweet. So she would do that and then give the crystal back to Tess. And basically, if they ever find a damaged crystal like that from now on, she is basically going to heal everyone she finds because she does not like the feeling of these crystals when they're in pain. Uh, 
I'm sure Dodgy approves of that. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm I'm a fan of this. It feels bad to leave them like that. Oh, I do want Dodgy to try and talk to the huge kyber crystal and see if anything happens, but Dodgy ends up in a relationship. <laughs> I mean, how bad could it be? Uh, that crystal is actually infused with quite a lot of knowledge because many Jedi came um, after the Battle of Rusan to this temple to meditate. It oh. interacted with many Jedi, so it has quite a few tales to tell. and Quite a few things to teach. Yeah. It's kind of like a living holocron. Nice. In that sense. That's wonderful. Yeah, technically, yeah, awesome. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, there's there's a lot that Dodgy can learn from that crystal. Uh, Where are you, feet? So these shits basically try and keep a lower profile than they've had for the last year. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. Because that went so well for them last time. Hey! We're trying! Five years! Five years we're able to keep a lower profile. That's pretty impressive for this group. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I mean, to a degree. You guys are still running missions here and there, so you're probably leaving little blips, um, blips here and there every time you uh, manage to save a Force-sensitive from the Inquisitorius. They're like, ah, oh, not again. Them! Like, they know it's us, they know we're still around and kicking, They j we're just not as obvious all the time. Yeah, you're getting better at the whole sneaking around and not making a big scene wherever you go. And announcing things on uh, loudspeakers basically telling the galaxy that you will fight them. <laughs> As Tess says. Um, it does help that part of the propaganda that they did for the Eye of Palpatine was that Tess had died in the explosion. <laughs> Suckers. Because <laughs> they'd prefer to bury her in there and hope to the dark side that she doesn't show up again. So yeah, basically we'll anytime that. Tess is seen doing shit, they uh, uh, blame it on someone else. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Amazing. And I mean, Tess is no longer wearing the flashy red jacket because that got ruined in the battle. Oh. I'm pretty sure red they have jacket. tailors that can repair a jacket. Shh. Rip jacket. I didn't know it was one of a kind. I'm sure it will work out best for Tess to have another jacket. <laughs> Is it going to be another K-pop one? <laughs> <laughs> um, so five years pass. You guys do quite a lot. Grow your groups. Um, so you guys have a pretty decent network by then, and Rasan, there's there's been some things that have kind of haunted you in the past five years, including oh, really? a someone who's still looking for you. Yeah. Uh, well, I took skill focus in stealth now, so good luck finding me. <laughs> um. Every so often, a piece of your network that you, you've built gets collapsed because of this guy f finding it and utterly destroying it. Man, well, urgh. eventually, <laughs> within the next five years, I want to kind of take him out. Because, you know, <laughs> but that's not really low profile, so. Yeah, he, he's, he's been a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, occasionally, I, I bet that Rasan will build up false networks, and when the guy finds them and comes to destroy them, there'll be, like, smiley faces and explosions. 
Yeah, except he never sends. He never goes himself. He always sends, you know, stormtroopers or whatever. So, yeah, uh, but he on those ones he'd get like little blips. Better luck next time. Yeah. Hope he didn't like that squad that much. <laughs> so you guys have been playing cat and mouse. Um, <laughs> and who who's the cat and who's the mouse kind of changes from time to time. <laughs> Well, you've never actually been able to tell where he is. So, like, both of you are Rasan's in the shadows. Uh huh. Rasan's always the mouse, but he's also getting pretty good at hiding himself. Like, he's has he hasn't been found yet either. Besides those, you know, couple of close calls in the first year because yeah, we were well, still learning. Mm-hmm. Um. Also, yes. I don't know. Nothing in character. Or anything. Um. Eventually, five years down the line, you do get an encrypted message that kind of catches your eye because the encryption is not the ones that you've either created or broken yourself. But do I recognize them? Uh, do you? Give me a use computer check. D. No other modifiers. Oh, wow. I don't. Wow. No. And that kind of piques your interest, if anything else. Yeah, so I probably spent a lot of time trying to figure them out as well. Yeah, it takes you a while, but you, you you know, you can take your time. I have time. Yeah. You eventually crack it open, and as you're breaking through it, you realize that what you hadn't recognized at first was that it has some familiarity to it. Um... It actually uses some level of encoding that the Jedi used to use. Wait, what? What? I am suddenly all eyes on it. Full attention, and I probably even mention it to Dodgy. <laughs> Dodgy in particular. Hey, Dodge. Yes? Uh, this has some Jedi coding to it. I can a- take a look, but I won't make any promises. No, I mean, we can both pour over it. It's not like we have to rush. That's a good, good attitude to have. Mm-hmm. I am getting better at being patient, even if it is a battle sometimes. It's a virtue. So, but Dodgy's help, it becomes a bit easier because Dodgy is more familiar with quite a lot of ciphers that the Jedi have used in the past, mm-hmm. given his age. Mm-hmm. Um, so eventually you manage to decode it, and um, there is a recording. You can immediately tell that the voice is using a filter on it. Hmm. Um, and the message starts playing and goes, I have been keeping watch on all of you. You seem to have similar interests as we do i would like to perhaps begin working together i have been keeping we have been keeping a low profile lower than yours but i have some jobs that are a bit flashier that i think would be best handled by your group do they give a name? If or you are interested, uh, I will include ways to contact me. You may refer to me as Fulcrum. <laughs> Shut up! I couldn't mute myself fast enough. I knew. Uh, I was hoping. Holy shit! I was hoping. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm totally working nonstop, also on the side to unfilter that. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's, yeah you're, you know. It's going to take it a while. It is hard coded. It is hard coded. Oh, that's in. fine. I like a challenge. <laughs> and this is you're not going to be able to, dude. Um, I don't know, but doesn't mean he's not going to try. Although. <laughs> but I'm guessing that's not. where we're going to leave things. Yep. Yes, that is where we're going to stop. For now. Thank you for watching, guys. Yay.